there was a wall of water coming, and it came in here like I ain't never seen. It come in here so fast. <laughs> So, you know, we thought it was going to be a little water in the road. So we pulled our vehicles up close to the garage, screamed at the kids, get in the house, get up to your bedroom, second story. And the water just kept on coming. And we thought, well, we should have drove out of here while we could have, because now we can't. <laughs> Talk about feeling helpless. What Chris experienced within this last week was how close to death he really became and how it really threatened his children. There were some kids across the street in the top window. Um, Chris, Chris, what do we do? Can you come and get us? And I had to hand my kids to the firemen and they had, you know, they had to take them and stick them in a boat. And it was pretty bad. Father, we do thank you for the provision that you made for them already. Chris understands that uh, this was a very difficult, critical situation for his family. and and that uh, I just reassured him of the hope that God has for him and that God has always been pursuing him all of his life. The chaplains have totally, you know, given me a, an ear to talk to and, and just telling me I'm going to get through it and making me realize my faith. Thank you, thank thank you, you so, so much. Yes. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, we are so touched. This yes. Is, we are having a presentation. They did give us a Bible and I've actually been reading it at night just because we need a little faith through all this. <laughs> when uh, Chris got the Bible, he came out and started talking to me, engaging me in conversation, and clearly wanted to, to speak and, uh, on, on a spiritual level. They just give you hope, and they come in, and they, they just help you. I mean, it's hard to put into words. He was uh, searching, and uh, he said that for the first time in a very long time, he started to read the Bible that we gave him and that uh, I just reassured him of the hope and love that, that God has through our Savior. And uh, he was very, he had ears to listen. I mean, they gave me a little sanity through all this, you know, a little mental motivation. And now that soul searching for him is really going to begin because he did feel helpless and he does feel helpless right now and we gave him the hope. <laughs>